All right, I figured I'd show the this circuit again before I get rid of it. This is basically an old push pull circuit. I got IRFP 250 ends on there, some uh, like cheap Amazon ones. Just got the secondary going through, primary booms going down to uh, ground. And I wound this coil right here for a 36 gauge. I haven't really like tuned around with this thing or anything like that. Uh, the whole point of this board was just to sort of see like, hmm, yeah, I wonder how many different types of coils I can just sort of throw in here and uh, get decent output, right? So, of course, if I really played with it long enough, try to get really good tuning and, uh, you know, get pretty damn long arcs from the uh, low voltage. Uh, but in this case, I've just wound a couple turns, you know, got the phasing right, threw it around this guy, added a little top load and uh boom Let's see i got this guy we'll put it about 12 volts and uh, it's actually on right now so this is the deal where i've got the to 494 pwm it's uh interrupting it like that and i just get it going so basically right now i've got a uh coupling you can see the primary sitting almost a couple inches damn near below the secondary and uh, it's just how I've randomly got it tuned. But yeah, sort of randomly. Uh, give me a little output there. Alright. And a uh, continuous wave, you know, that pulls up like 5 amps or something like that. cut that off really you know the coupling shouldn't be that loose instead of running it that far down i'm just going to put it about like that right just sitting a little bit above it you know maybe not even a half inch all right and uh, again about 12 volts so get a little something you can see in that case uh, at this voltage seems kind of whoops Reach out to the finger, all right. And then uh, continuous wave, it pulls again for like 5 amps at that 12 volts or so, right? So with this uh, kind of tuning, um, you know, I get real fat arcs at the higher voltages. But basically as I'm pulling the arc out the top load, I can load it down uh, a little bit further, right? Um, which is how it goes. So let's just say uh, move the coupling real far back, kind of like I had it, right? So let it come out. So quite a bit looser coupling. Um, turn it back on again, and uh, again continuous wave. You know, goes up quite a bit. But then as I pull the arcs, you know. It's, Pulling the uh, current down, right? So, sort of adjust how that uh, operates with the coupling and whatnot. But again, I'm just kind of move that back down. Right about there. Fairly close. A little looser than normal uh, Tesla coils. So really, I'm going to put it at more like 15. Just play around with the voltages. So, you know, this one's not going to put out crazy long arcs or anything. Let me, go on. Let me cut the lights down. All right, so again, uh, about 15 volts. Get that guy going. Right, yeah, pulling that CW, messing my phone up. 
but yeah that CW pulled quite a bit from this supply uh, I need some that's like uh, a good 10 to 15 amps probably so yeah you know that's pulling pulling that supply down to like uh, 10 volts something like that oh yeah and of course again I got the uh, higher frequency interrupter deal Still hear it. You know, that's what. That's like 13 kilohertz. You know, which doesn't really drop the current draw a whole lot. Again, just kind of bring that back down. bring it to like 24 I'm not sure how it runs with this uh, exact coupling at 24 might not run so great and let's see probably can't get too close to it close my door small coil but man, it's still loud So, turn that back down. Oh, let me try 30. Well, let me, you know what, let me move the coupling down a little bit more like that. So now it's all the way down at the bottom. Primary is about uh, flush with the bottom of the secondary. Not much difference. Except now you can sort of see uh, Say so. I made this very slight change here, right? Where uh, I've moved the coupling down to where they're about flush, so coupling's a little bit higher. And uh, you know, while I probably, I probably get a little bit longer discharges to free air at 12 volts with the uh, coupling a little looser. You know, again, that's just how this all works, right? At 24 volts, I need that coupling to be about right where it's at, just a little bit higher, right? And that way, uh, when I run this, I can touch the arcs. It doesn't detune it and get it out of whack too much, right?
That's <laughs> too much for the supply. All right, so that's 24. Let me just try a 31. Just do it, start it up like this at that voltage. Again, not a huge difference. <laughs> like nine amps pulls down to 20 not, not like nine and nine ten amps at 22 volts or so almost looks like a continuous wave So yeah, anyway, the video uh, keeps cutting out, but that's how that works. Feed out. I have another setup that I can run higher voltage. I probably could run these much higher voltage. Haven't tried yet, but from this tuning, I can tell right now that it's just not going to make much difference, right? I would have to retune this whole thing to run much higher voltage. You know, I can, uh, if I wanted to, I can run this down pretty low. I don't know, let me put this at like... Uh, about like 8.2 volts or something, right? Bump that up just a little bit. So the coupling's a little bit lower. Crank the bias up a little bit higher than it would be before because I don't have a uh, solid, I'm guessing, 12 volt reference. So yeah, I gotta go way up on the pot. Then I eventually get a little something, right? Oops. So, you know, again, that's uh, 9 volts. So that doesn't really pull a whole lot. That's uh, you know, like 100 milliamps at eight something, and you know, probably goes up about half an amp pulling these arcs out like that, right? So it kind of makes me wonder. I'm gonna go down to about uh six, a little under six and a half volts, right? There's gonna be a certain point I need to go a certain amount of voltage to get this going, but crank the bias up even more. Okay, it looks like right there. Yeah, so going now, a little over six volts. I can still get it, but uh, it's not coming out to free air. I bet if I actually decrease the coupling even more, it would come out to free air, but I just have to, you know, sort of tune it myself. Eh. We do a continuous wave, you know, it's six volts. Six volts, uh, one amp, I guess, looks like. Get the little tiny uh, <laughs> baby streamer guy. Can actually whoop, pull a little arc out. <laughs> so yeah, I guess that's pretty typical of uh, this type of circuit. And uh, yeah, that actually pulls that up. That's six volts, about five amps peak, or all the way up to about five amps, uh, continuous. So again, you know, a little circuit like that is pretty cool for the uh, low voltages. That's the whole point of this one. Uh, but I do know from experience that, you know, again, made a bunch of these. You can design these for a uh, higher voltage, but... I wouldn't really recommend it, you know, of course, if you really want to go, you know, too much over 50 volts or something like that, then, uh, well, damn, you might as well just uh, build like a full bridge or something like that, right? Half bridge, double the voltage, whatever.